hello guys welcome back in this video we will see how we can add search on different columns of and design table and based on that how we can filter out our data so let's get started I have an empty react.js project that is using and design and as we will be adding the search on different columns of a table so let's go ahead and import the table and you start using it so table from and design and here we can add the table component and in that we can add uh, the columns we will be declaring them soon and then the data source okay so let's go ahead and declare a few columns so suppose we want to uh, show the data of a user so the columns could be uh, we can say title name with the data index of name as well and let's copy it and add few more columns so suppose the first column is name the second column could be the age and the third column could be address right and for the data source uh, let's declare the uh, state so that we can change it later and re-enter the component so data source initially it could be empty let's go ahead and add the columns and then the data source save it uh, your state is not defined so let's import your state from react now save it and here you go name age and address there's no data because data source is empty so let's go ahead and add few uh, data records so suppose uh, the data index are name age and address so let's add so the first name is john with age of 32 and uh, address may be new york okay let's copy it and paste for around three to four times to add a uh, different number of rows one two three four and let's add one more five okay the first name is john the second could be suppose jim uh age could be 33 and let's add sydney and maybe david with age of 40 and maybe Japan and we can say James maybe same age and address and then uh, we can add uh, another maybe you can say uh, Sam and it could be 40 and let's add another uh, address for the Sydney. So, Sydney, Sydney, new, two from new, new York and one from Japan. So, we have a combination of different users. So, here you go name, age, and address. Right. So, suppose we want to add a search on this column name. So, what we need to do is uh, go to the name column and here if we need to add a, a filter drop down a drop down that will be equal to we need to return here uh, any uh, components we return here the input save it here you go so it has added the filter here and if you click on it it will show the input right so this uh, but uh, we want to add a search here so let's change this uh, filter icon to search so that will be filter icon and it will again a uh, function we need to return so let's add a uh, icon from the end design i have already created a video on that how to add icons from the end design and how we can 
customize those as well so i will add the link of that in the description below so that you can take a look so let's add uh, and design icons so it will be a search outlined so here we will return search outlined okay save it here you go the search icon is that it right and when you click on it it is not focusing so let's add uh, auto focus so that as soon as I click on it it got auto focused here you go and let's add a placeholder as well so placeholder we can say uh, type text here maybe here you go so refresh click on it yeah type text here and I can even type it okay so what we uh, want to do is so when user enter hit or this the uh, text field is uh, on made blur so we want to search right so let's add those two functions so on press enter so we want to do a search here as well as uh, on blur uh, we want to search here so before that uh, you see uh, as user is typing here but we are not saving these values anywhere so let's save them and uh, when user press on enter or made a blur we can uh, search so for that this filter drop down gives us few keys so we can uh, it gives us uh, some props we can use those so it will give us set uh, selected uh, keys as well as it will give us what were the selected keys and then also it gives us function for confirm so that we will be calling it uh, when we want to uh, want a search so here we can add on change that will be a function given that will give us the event and we can say that uh, set selected keys to be e dot target dot value and we can say if it exists then set it in an array so we have to set selected keys we have to give us an array so we can say that if the value exists we can save it and otherwise return an empty array right and also uh, we can set its value to the selected keys because it is an array so it will be uh, we can get its first element so that will be a string so we will be populating it in the input right let's save it and go back so we are typing and uh, right now it is getting saved but uh, let's go ahead and uh, make it search so that we know that it is getting saved in the selected keys and uh, making the search right so on press enter what we need to do is only confirm and that's it it will search and the same we will be doing again on blur right so once uh, everything is entered so on press enter or on blur we will be confirming and on confirming what it will be doing is it will be calling a function called on filter and it will give us the value as well as the record and uh, we need to return whether we need uh, true or false whether we need to show that record or not so here what we will be doing is we will be record dot name dot to lower case uh, we are making it lowercase so that if user types in caps are in, uh, are in lowercase we will be returning this, the record so small john or in caps john or in mix so if that value 
includes the value dot again to lower case. So, we will be returning uh, true if you uh, if this condition is uh, fulfilled otherwise false. So, the record will not be shown. Let us save it and refresh and type maybe gym search you see gym and come back gym is green. So, if we call only j i again j so j j j all of this. So, David is not showing here. So, if I type David so here you go it is searching right and even if I uh, on blur it is also searching right ok. So, this is searching on enter on blur, but if, if you want to add a button here for the search or for even making it clear all of the filters we can add that those as well. So, here instead of only returning the input we can return uh, even a few buttons as well. So, let us add a button uh, we can say search with the type of primary and on click of it we will be doing the same uh, confirm the same we are doing on enter or on blur right. Save it to here here you go the search is there search button. So, if I search gym click on this it is doing the same right and also we can add uh, another button uh, for making it clear. So, we can say that reset maybe and on reset what we will be doing is uh, we, we will also be getting another prop that is called uh, clear filters and we will be calling that clear filters here you go ok click on it reset here you go it clears all of that. So, let us change its uh, type to maybe danger here you go yep. So, search James search reset back right. So, here you see that uh, when I hit enter or uh, hit the search button or uh, blur this uh, field then it makes search. So, if you want uh, to, to make it search as soon as I am typing something. So, we can do that as well. So, that is will be very much easy. So, here we uh, as soon as we update the value uh, we can also make it uh, confirm. So, it will be searching as soon as I am typing save it if I type j ok. So, uh, here as soon as I type it it searched it, but if you want this uh, search box to be open always uh, as I mean need to be open uh, along with the search then we can say that uh, close uh, that is close drop down uh, false I think that is the prop refresh j right yep yeah and here we go right you see it is searching and and you see here uh, as soon as search it is shrinking and does not look good. Let us add few styling to the table. So, that it looks it does not uh, its header does not move along. So, we can say that it display to be flex and flex to be suppose 1 and let us add a margin uh, maybe 10 pixels here you go and 
no if I type it stays there right. So, in this in this way uh, we have added the search on the name in the similar way we can add the search on the age and address uh, let us add on the edge. So, let us copy uh, all of this and maybe you can uh, create a function that takes uh, maybe the only thing changing is this variable the name or the data index. So, we can pass that data index to, to this one uh, to function and we can uh, make it generic and the other thing might be that for the name we are uh, checking if it includes the uh, that fee that uh, text then we are returning true. So, for the age we might be saying that if the age is equal to equal to the age user is searching. So, if I mean uh, we can make it uh, generic as well as we can make it specific uh, for a column. So, for this purpose of this uh, video let us copy it and paste it here for the age uh, everything will remain same uh, except that uh, we will be saying that age if its age is equal to equal to we can say that whatever the value user is entered here you go it has added the search on this age as well. So, if here if I type 3 showing nothing if it is 33 it is showing uh, one user here you go and suppose uh, there was one work with the 40, 4 is nothing right. So, you can add uh, in a similar way you can add the search on any column right. So, if you add the search on the address and it will be similar to uh, this name. So, let us add that there as well I think we have copied. Uh, and it will be address save it add it there as well and now if I add Sydney it is showing two users from Sydney uh, from the N Japan New York Sydney but if I type new it is only NE New York and here you go right. So, now we have added uh, the filters on all of these columns. So, we can uh, search for a combination of columns. So, suppose we have search j here only the uh, names with, with which have j and then suppose here we want to say only the users with have uh, the age of 32 and then maybe if it is only the new, new York is here if, if suppose I search Sydney uh, here it will say nothing and if I clear this out it will say that uh, there is search on this column and this column it is showing us little highlighted and there is no search on this column right. And if I reset this one three users and if I say only Sydney only one user right. So, search on this column and this column is there right now alright. So, also we can uh, update this uh, icon if needed in case of searched or if it is not searched or filtered. So, it will be giving us a uh, variable uh, or the boolean variable here. So, on checking if it is filtered we can return the search outline or if it is not filtered maybe we can return something else or maybe we can uh, style differently. So, these are the possibilities uh, on this search icon as well as we can make searches on different columns or uh, one at a time or in a combination of different columns right. So, that is it on exploring uh, the search on different columns of a table. If you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like and subscribe to my channel. See you in next video. Thank you.